even during the day, one of the, um, the doors, which are quite heavy, will open up and then you'll hear the floor creak. So I don't, I don't really get scared. You know, I just let them know, you know, I'm not here to harm you, I'm just doing my job. We did hear some uh, young, a little boy's voice. Sometimes you hear him crying every oh, now whoa, and then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I just got the chills. Well, if these walls could talk or scream, they could probably say Wouldn't that. Wouldn't that be something? They would. So whenever weird stuff like that happens, we just say, well, there's the ghost. One of the, the nicest proofs I ever had of the existence of the other side was right after uh, my mother died. This book popped out. It shot three feet out from the shelf and landed at my feet. Uh, the title of the book was Hello from Heaven. And the other really strange thing that he said while he was dying was he, he kind of looked up and he said, it's beautiful. It's a great documentary on a timeless theme. It is a fascinating film of apparent messages from the other side. The first two, three hundred people that I saw leaving this world, uh, they started to mention things. They started to tell me things, trusting me that they were seeing spirits at the doorway. March 25th, 1990, some very strange things happened, actually, uh, the evening of her funeral. There's life after death beyond all reasonable doubt. About one third of the people who've had friends, close relatives die, actually have some form of uh, experience with them. When I first started out in the medical field, working our small town hospital, um, again, my job was, as people died, I would hold their hand. I don't believe people should pass from this earth uh, over to whatever is on the other side alone. I was taking care of a man who was clearly dying and I was holding his hand. And as he took his last breath, you saw the spirit come up from the body and just come up like this. Now we have both had experiences in the ER where we work now. He like takes two or three steps and then is just gone. gone. It's not even like a mist, it's not like um, floating. Exactly. And I just came across the nurse's station and I looked at Peter and Peter looked at me and he goes, and I said, what? He goes, did you see that? I said, yes, I saw that. I had the spirit of a murdered victim come to me in my home. It is not science fiction. It is fact.